Hello and welcome to Peabody. Mr. D here. Do you have a test or exam coming up? Well, today we're going to go through 10 scientifically proven strategies that I use with my own students to help you pass. Let's get into it. So before the test, there are a number of key things that we need to do. Tip number 10, we need to think forward. Why? So you will know exactly what the test will assess when you get to it. How? Very simple, ask your teacher at the start of a new topic how you'll be assessed. Another great way of doing this is asking for previous tests or assessments to get an idea about what might be on there. Tip number nine, take notes. When you're learning new information, it is really useful to take notes to help you focus in class. This can also help some of the information stick into your brain. And it also gives you something to revise when it comes to the revision period. How? Take notes during class. I'd recommend using Cornell Notes, as these are one of the most effective methods of retaining information and organising your thoughts. Now we're entering the revision period. This could be one to two weeks before the test or exam. Tip number eight, work smarter. Why? Because you have a limited amount of time and you need to work productively. The best way of doing this is with proven science-backed strategies. Firstly, we need to know the pass mark of the test or exam. Is it 40%, is it 50%, is it 60%? Ask your teacher before the test. Our first science-backed strategy is spaced repetition or multiple exposure to information. How this works is you learn information, you allow yourself a period of forgetting, and then you remind yourself of this information a number of times. How this might look practically, you're in a classroom and you learn information, that's the first exposure. You go home, you revise that information, that's the second exposure. At the end of the week, you revise your notes, that's the third exposure. The more exposures, the better. In fact, if you get up to four or five exposures, you can retain up to 95% of information you learn. Our second effective strategy is recall practice. What this means is prompting your brain and then requiring it to dig deep to find the information. An example of how this would look, at the end of this video, you could write the numbers 1 to 10 and then try to think back and write down all 10 tips. Both of these are highly effective strategies for learning and retaining information. Tip number 7, work harder, because nothing replaces hard work. In general, you learn something, you might have a quiz on it and then you'll be tested on it. This is not a lot of time to remember things, so I'd suggest using extra time after school and on the weekends. Very simple concept. The more time and effort you spend on something, the more likely you are to learn. All right, now we're entering the preparation phase. This could be the day before or the day of the test. Tip number six, don't cram study. Let me repeat that, do not cram study. Why? Science tells us that it's not effective, it actually increases your stress levels and it does not help your performance. What to do instead? Have a good night's sleep, make sure your diet is on point, and do some relaxing activities to calm you down. Tip number five, prepare both your brain and your body for success. Why? Because both of these need to work together for optimal performance. How? Get hydrated, do some light exercise before the test, such as a brisk walk, and eat brain foods, things like nuts, berries, dark chocolate, coffee or tea, help your brain to perform at its best. Tip number four, have a test strategy. Don't go in blind, make sure you know what you're doing because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. How? I'd suggest doing the easiest questions first. This will help you plan your time. Make sure you know how much time you have for the entire test and then look through, break down each section and make sure you have enough time to answer each question properly. All right, it's show time. The following tips will help you succeed during the test. Number three, read the question multiple times. This is the most important tip. Make sure you understand exactly what the question is asking you. Read the question, reread the question, reread read the question if you need. Understanding the question will give you the best chance at success. From experience, this is the most common issue students have. Tip number two, read the rubric. 
if your test or assessment has a rubric, this is your cheat sheet to passing because this is exactly what your teacher will use to mark you. Down the side here, you will have the criteria for the different things that are being marked. And up the top here, you'll have the continuum from beginning up to exemplary, where it may be from year seven up to year 10. This tells you how well you've done each of the criteria. But it's important to read this rubric, identify the key topics, these are our criteria, and if it's not on the rubric, don't do it. And finally, tip number one, if you don't know, guess. Why? Because teachers cannot give you marks if you leave a question blank. How? Read the question, use the context of the question and the surrounding questions, and use the information you already know. Key point here, make sure you've got pen to paper for each of the questions. You never know, you might get it right. And after the test, this is what most people forget, but it's a really important step in the process. A bonus tip, make sure you evaluate your performance. Learn from your test so you can do better in the next one. In your school or uni career, you will have many tests, so it's important to improve each time. How? Review your marks, review your feedback, and evaluate how you went during the test. Did you have enough time? Did you answer all the questions? How did you go? So there you have it, my top 10 tips for passing any test or exam. Think forward, take notes during class, work smarter and harder, don't cram study, prepare your body and your brain, have a test strategy, read the question, read the questions again, read the rubric, and if you don't know, guess. Thanks very much for watching this video. Please make sure you like, comment with any feedback or questions you still have, and subscribe if you want to learn more. What do you want to learn about next? Comment below. Good luck in your next test or exam, guys. Go smash it.